The Boeing company is betting its future on the new 787 Dreamliner. Unlike the last generation of jumbo jets, like the Airbus A380, which seats 550 passengers, the 787 is smaller. The Dreamliner is designed to carry up to 330 people and to access regional airports. And it is lighter, made from composite materials, primarily plastic. Boeing's Randy Tinsess says the 787 Dreamliner has what both the flying public and the airline industry are looking for. For airlines, uh, we're looking at a 20% improvement in fuel efficiency for today's airplanes significantly better cost so airlines can continue to be profitable and for passengers we're offering a totally new experience larger windows wide aisles wide seats large overhead bins uh, new lighting so you can rest better and we're even doing it things to have even cleaner air in the airplane so you'll feel better guy norris who covers boeing for aviation weekly says Planning for the 787 began about 10 years ago when the company was suffering both financial losses and production delays. He says Boeing changed the production process to farm out 70 percent of the work to nearly 50 partner aerospace companies. And the combination, here we are 10 years later, is a result of those changes. They produced this 21st century technology airliner with a production system that should produce the aircraft in record numbers and at record profitability. Boeing's main competitor, Airbus, may be at a disadvantage today, but it is not standing idly by. It is also developing a new generation of airliners. Airbus's Barbara Kratz says, in an industry that is growing at a rate of 4.8 percent a year, there is room for both aerospace giants in the marketplace. The Boeing 7, 787 is certainly a great product, but uh, we have the 330 available now and the 350, which is coming uh, in the next decade. And uh, so uh, customers love to have uh, competition, which benefits everybody. While sales for the 787 Dreamliner are brisk and Boeing's immediate future looks promising, there are still concerns. Unforeseen production delays could cut profits and the airplane has yet to actually fly. Brian Patton, VOA News.